I don't know how to talk about the chair. It's something simple. Four legs, a backrest. It's where you sit. But there's more than just a chair here. We begin with its shadow. It casts a long shadow to its right, and a harsh one with solid straight lines. The shadow is firm and unchanging. It embodies the past. Its roots stem from the feet of the chair and elongate as the sun sets at day's end. In this, we see tents changing to form a ridge like mountains and valleys, the vastness yearning to be explored. And like a scenic view, you take a deep breath, pick yourself up, and move along to your next journey, the cloth. Cloth hangs from the edge of the chair onto the floor. Much of it is wrinkled. Just as the future is waiting to be formed, the cloth must be tailored. Its puddled shape implies its liquidity, a promise to be fulfilled. What you make of the future is only begun, as there's no finished products around, only the empty space, and at its center, the chair. The chair demands our attention at center frame. It is between the past and the future. It's where you sit, the present. Now, it's important to note the chair is only a vessel. You decide what to do in it. You decide the present. It's impossible to know what to do with this immense responsibility. And below forms guilt. Guilt churns below the heart, in our stomach and in our soul. It drives us to keep looking back and planning forward, torn between time. But we can't dawdle in the doorway. Which way lies defeat? Which way triumph? Which was it before? What went wrong? <sighs> I don't know how to talk about the chair. It's something simple. And at some point, you have to stand up and go outside. Stop reflecting. Stop pondering. Stop looking at this fucking image. It's a physics simulation, you stupid bitch.